Today's video should be a terrific time saver for you if you're looking for silver gray, white wigs, or a combination thereof. I've put together 15 different wigs from several different reviewers, all wonderful brand names that you should recognize right here, right now on Silver Linings. These reviewers are in no particular order, but there are about 15 different wigs here. I'll put all the links below so that you can find them if it's something that you want to purchase. So, first up is Coco from Coco's Hair Solutions, and she is modeling for us the Uniwigs Salt and Pepper Mono 16 inch topper. I think it looks absolutely beautiful on her. Her own hair is very, very close to this to this uh, topper's color. Now you can see it looks a little shiny, but in person it's not going to be that shiny. This is a beautiful topper that I myself reviewed um, a few weeks ago. Just beautifully done by Uniwigs. Next up is Coco again. <laughs> I love this. And Coco is showing... Um, Laurel by Paula Young in the color Royal Silver 5660. I love what she's done with it, that little bandana or whatever it is that she has up there. Coco is a hoot. If you haven't discovered her channel yet and you like Paula Young wigs, and she also shows Godiva Secret wigs on her channel, she's just so much fun. And if you're watching this, Coco, hi, we need to talk again soon. <laughs> Okay, up next is Crazy Wig Lady, and she's showing us um, Girl Mono in Stone Gray Rooted, and uh, she's calling it a medium length. I love this wig. Uh, some nice loose curls or waves, whatever you want to say, and uh, I think it looks beautiful on Eileen. Eileen from Crazy Wig Lady. It will be linked below. Next up, is Denise Sheets and Denise is reviewing Jean Renault's January in the color Mist and this is a brand new gray. This is a lovely gray. I haven't had this one in my hands yet. I'm looking seriously at that one. I love how it has the sweep of the bang coming over the forehead. Very very soft look and uh, again, that will be linked below. It's got 39 mixed in with 5160. So wonderful new color uh, from Jean Renault. Next up is Courtney. And Courtney is by Jean Renault. And that's Let's Talk with Kim, a beautiful wig reviewer. Again, in the color 395160, but in the longer wig. Next, we have Marlene's Wig and Chat, and she's Marlene is reviewing Gabor's Unspoken in the Sugared Nickel. So you can see that this is a darker gray. For those of you that are really kind of in the transition time, and I remember when my hair had a lot more black in it and I transitioned to white. A beautiful wig, beautiful review, as always, by Marlene, linked below. Okay, next up we have Mel's Be Ageless, and Mel's hair is a lot like mine. It's on the thin side. She doesn't have a lot of it. It's it's very silvery white. Mine used to be more silver, but it's pretty much all white now. And you can see here she is modeling or reviewing um, Aria by Jean Renault, and it's from their Smart Lace collection, and it's in the color 56F51, which is a beautiful a combination of silver gray and white. More gray than white, but just a beautiful combination of colors. Next up is um, Wig Review Central, and this one is Envy's Susie in their medium gray. And kind of a modern, edgy, wavy, short bob and I will link that for you below. Next up, well we all know who this is. This is our girl Taz and Taz is reviewing uh, Beltress's Jazz. Taz reviews Jazz. <laughs> and this is a new style for Beltress and it is in the color Chrome which I love. I love the rooting on this wig. 
I recently purchased a chrome uh, color based on one of Taz's reviews. So again, this will be linked below. Next up is from Tre Trista's Tresses. Love this girl. And um, she has something a little bit different. This is an easy crown, a topper, but it fits at the back of your head instead of coming down in the front of your head. So I will link that to you below. This is very interesting. Um, if you do have some hair that's going to cover the back of the topper, this would be a wonderful, a wonderful fix for you if you've got balding at the back part of your head. Again, that will be linked below. Next up is Sophia with wigs.com and she is reviewing Aria by Jean Renault. This is a relatively new uh, style. I think it's beautiful. Not too dense. So if you're looking for something that's more like your natural gray hair, this is your wig if you're looking for a longer wig. Beautiful, beautiful style. Again, that will be linked below. Next, again, is uh, Sophia, and she is reviewing In Charge, a very popular wig by Raquel Welch. If you've been looking at wig reviews for any amount of time, you've probably seen In Charge around, and she is, sh is showing it in three colors, 5660 for us grays and RL5161 for us ladies who are looking for silver gray white hair beautiful beautiful wig and I love how it frames the face with all the white all around the face very very soft look all right so next up is Jean Renault's Anne in the color 56 F 51 you can see that uh, right down there in the lower right beautiful shades of gray white dark brown nice short cropped style and I also wanted to show you, I did a video uh, uh, about 10 months ago, and silver, how to find your best gray wig color. This is a labor of love for me, and it truly is a lot of work. What I've done is I've taken the major brands, Beltress, Allen Villa, Aesthetica, Gabor, Jean Renault, um, Noriko, Raquel Welsh, Renee of Paris, Tony of Beverly, and I've gone to their sites and looked up what wigs come in the gray hair family. So as you can imagine, this is, this is a bit labor intensive. I will continue to add to this site as time moves forward, but for now, there's a lot of them in here which could save you some time if you're looking for a silver gray or white wig. And then finally, I wanted to remind you that over at my website, I, from time to time, will add wigs, gently used wigs, uh, for sale. It's a deep discount. I've only used them pretty much for wig reviews. And then they go back in the box, and then they go to my website for sale. Uh, so again, I will link that for you below. I do need to add some other wigs to this to this page, and I will be doing that probably within the next week or so. All right, so that is basically everything um, that I wanted to share with you today. I hope that this is a wonderful time saver for you. I know it probably would be for me. And yes, you could go to these reviewers' pages individually, 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 but that's going to take you a lot of time. One of the things that I that I really wanted to do with my channel was to save you time and hopefully save you money because time is money. I do not sell wigs, brand new wigs. Uh, the wig retailers do that. I will buy a wig if I like it. I'll review a wig for you. Sometimes I'll keep it. Sometimes I won't. My mission is really to be a resource for you, to save you time and hopefully save you money when you're looking for your best silver, gray, or white wigs. It takes a lot of time, takes a lot of research, but I'm looking for wigs myself, so I might as well share them with you. Well, I hope I was able to save you some time today with all of these different wig reviews from different wig reviewers. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of thing, because if you do, I'll do more of these type of videos. And uh, I know I don't know about you, but I like saving time when I'm trying to find a new a new wig. Speaking of a new wig, this coming weekend, Sunday, I will be reviewing this piece right here. She's a beautiful 
wavy, very light on the head. I haven't put her on yet, but she feels very light in my hand, and I can't wait for you to see her this coming Sunday. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you next time on One with Gray Hair, Silver Linings. Bye-bye. <laughs>